Hi guys and welcome along. Today we're continuing with our winter watercolour theme and we are painting a series of jolly snowmen. So grab your paints and let's get going. Right, hi everybody. Today we're painting some snowmen um, and I'm really excited. I'll be honest, I used to be really, really terrified of snowmen and um, the, the snowman, the, the children's book and cartoon really is still one of the things that um, I can't really handle. But I love snow and so <laughs> this is, uh, consider me overcoming my fears. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a very sort of pale shadowy mix here which is going to be um, what's going to sort of set apart our snow on the page. And I'm going to paint three little snow people for you and maybe a tiny bit, let's get a touch of the turquoise in there as well, a little bit of freshness in this snow. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a, I'll start with a central one. And I'm going to start with a very dilute circle with a large brush, I'm using size six here. And we're just getting it nice and wet and then it is a bit of a challenge to paint yourself a perfect circle to start off. So um, we can just even it up a little bit as we're going. And the great thing is, is when you've got a very translucent color, it will dry even lighter, but the, um, the pigment floods to the edges and creates this beautiful kind of crisp edge. So you'll see that happen as it dries. Okay, so this snowman's gonna be a three, a, th a three bobble, snowman as in he's going to have three balls of snow to make up his body so this second ball of snow is just very gently overlapping the first is a bit smaller than the first as well and we can just even it up as we go very nice and then the top one smaller again will be the head that in with a bit of water. I tend to, once I've done the initial outline with that very pale colour, I find doing the rest just with clear water is, is enough. Lovely. Now what I am going to do is I'm just going to take a tiny bit of a little bit more concentrated shadow. I'm just going to pop in a little bit just just around the edge and the side there, just to give us a tiny bit more definition. Okay, I'm going to paint another one here. I'm gonna do a much sort of shorter, squatter little fella here. So we're gonna have a much bigger and maybe a slightly sort of broader circle. So it's starting to resemble more of an oval. Fill it in. And then he's going to have a little head on top. And then we can just fill in a little bit more of the shape and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of extra shadow. And let's do a third shape. So I hope by now if you've gotten the gist. Um, I'm going to do a two, another two bobbled snowman but this one's going to be a bit slimmer than the one on the right. Only a bit mind. head 
you need to make sure that there's an overlap between the bodies and the heads because or when you put your little um, balls together because otherwise they'd just topple off wouldn't they great we've got our three snow characters now we just need to let them dry fully and then we can start to add all sorts of fun decorations. Now our snowmen are dry and you can see how the lovely colours have turned into crisp edges around the edge so I'm really happy with these and we're going to start with some scarves because it's cold out there. So I'm going to begin, I'll go with a smaller brush I think, so I've got my size zero brush and some cadmium red. We're going to do some nice sort of classic looks for our snowmen today. So the scarf shape, even though we're sort of painting nice sort of simple illustrations, it doesn't mean we can't sort of do things properly. So I'm going to start by just sort of creating that, that sort of bulge that the scarf makes when it's wrapped around. And then the outline of the scarf coming over the top and then we're going to just start adding in some simple stripes and I'm going to use those stripes to help create the sort of chunkiness of the scarf so you can see that slight uh, curve in the stripe there and at the moment I'm not using much more than the colour that's already on the red outline and then I'm going to take some more concentrated colour and I'm just going to drop in a little bit towards the bottom I'm going to clean that brush off again and this time I'm going to use the red again with just using the water and the colour that's already on the scarf. And if you do find you start to run out you can always add a bit more. And then, get the fluff off my brush, just use the red to do some tassels on the scarf. And of course, we normally see another bit of scarf poking out underneath as well. So we can just fill that one in too. And if you notice how I've made the scarf bits coming down sort of curve out over the rounded body. Okay, so I'm going to fill in two more scarves and then we'll keep going. We've got three scarves now, so I'm using cadmium red, yellow ochre and Prussian blue for my colours. And now we're going we're gonna to change it up a bit now, so everyone's going to have a different bit of headgear. Let's begin with a nice sort of bobble hat for this one here so it's going to come down over the head a nice sort of chunky hat rim there then a bit more of a shape on top and then we'll have the bobble but let's first put in our stripes And again, just remember that the roundness of the knitwear is represented in the way you paint your stripes. I'm going to give this snowman a red rest of the hat. 
So I'll still just fill in there, clean off my brush, and then fill in the rest so it's not just a solid one colour red. And then for the pom pom, I think I'm going to do a sort of a red sort of tinged pom pom. So just doing sort of dashes. There we go. Nice. So uh, I see a lot of top men wearing, no, top men, snowmen wearing top hats. I get my words mixed up. So I'll get some black on the go for a lovely top hat for our central guy. And again, we're going to have the hat sort of sitting down on his head. Oh, actually, I think I'll use a smaller brush. It's always, I always find it quite nerve wracking when I'm using pure black on a piece. I want to go in easier, so back to the size zero brush. So the hat is obviously sat on his head, so it needs to come down a little bit. A little bit like when we were painting the, um, the circle of the head onto the circle of the body. You want it sat on it and overlapping down onto it rather than just perched on top. Okay, so I've created the outline of the rim and with a clean wet brush, I'm just drawing in the colour from either side. Top hats have a real shine to them, so this works quite well. And then we'll drop in some strong concentrated black. <laughs> it's a bit like a beret at the moment. Okay, and now two lines sort of jutting out a little bit. It's quite a grand top hat this and then a curve. And now I will use a slightly larger brush this time. So coming in from the sides and at the moment just leaving a tiny bit of unpainted space between the actual hat and the brim of it. a little bit more colour in. Draw it down a little bit more. And there's our nice shiny top hat. So this little bit of unpainted uh, space just adds that bit of shine and adding in some extra concentrated black in the corners really um, creates that real contrast. Okay, and then I think for our last one, I think he needs some earmuffs. By the way, I'm automatically um, saying he the whole time. These snow people could be anyone, couldn't they? Could be animals as well. So um, it's just an automatic thing, but they're very much um, all sorts of people in my head, these ones. Right, so we're gonna do pom-poms, uh, like earmuffs, but I'm gonna have him turning sort of, he's facing this way a little bit, so we might only see, we'll definitely see this one. So in the same approach to the pom-pom on the red snow hat, I've just got a little bit of dabbing to do. And this time I'm actually gonna fill it in, but just by dabbing it means it gets a little bit of unpainted space and looks a bit nice and furry. And then I think we will just see the edge of that one. And then I'm just gonna paint a fine line over the top. And there we've got some headgear for all of our snow people. So now it's time for some more classic additions, like the coal down the front. 
So we can't see much coal down the front of this one, but we can see maybe two pieces. So I like to do it where you have, um, you sort of start drawing your shape, a sort of jaggedy circle, and you leave a little unpainted piece, a little unpainted spot just to get the sort of the shine of the black of the coal. And you'll see here what I mean by creating the roundness of the snowman by getting the, uh, the coal in that kind of formation. Then we have got the faces. So we'll have some little coal for eyes and we'll do it in a similar way And also that little bit of um, unpainted space on the eyes actually sort of gives a little bit more character to our snowmen. A carrot for a nose, so we've got some cadmium orange here. And I'll just turn the page a little bit, so I've got the angle of my brush right. So I just start with the tip of my brush and then I squish the side of the brush down and you get a beautiful carrot shape. You can have a slightly wobbly carrot. And then the ones in the middle, sometimes people struggle with this. I just sort of do a slightly shorter one with a slightly rounded base and it seems to work really nicely. Then I'll do a coal for smiles, I think. So we'll have our central snowman with a nice broad smile. So slightly smaller pieces. I think we'll have this guy just with one. It's a little bit surprised. And this chap can have a little bit of a side smile. Now I'm going to add some little twigs for arms, so I think they'll be quite sort of dark brown. So I've got my burnt sienna here and I will just get a little bit of black. So the sticks are going to come out the side and I'm going to have mine quite natural. So this one's poking out the side. A bit more colour on that one. So this can be angled a little up a little bit. And page round so I don't stick my hand in anything. And then he can have his down. So these look really nice. Now there's one or two things we could add to make it look even cooler. Excuse the pun. Um, I really crack myself up sometimes. Right, so I'm going to add a little bit of a, a sort of snowy landscape for them. So I'm going back to that original color that we used to actually create the snow land, or the snowballs, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. and. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a sort of setting for them. And the cool thing is because the um, because the snow has dried in terms of the actual bodies of the snowmen, 
even though this is the same colour, they're staying nice and defined from each other. And there's just a little bit of a sort of shadowy bit, and then You can sort of create a bit of a snowy effect by just sort of adding in a few textury bits, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a tiny bit more shadow to the snowmen themselves. for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my patrons for your support because your support enables me to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you're getting on with all these painting tutorials. And if you subscribe then you'll never miss another video. So until next time, bye! <laughs>